That wraps up the Pickwick event. This is the winner's tackle box presented by Academy Sports. And we've got Dustin and Tracy just weighed in over 28 pounds. Big bag of fish, incredible day. And uh, you're talking about very specific spots you'd get bit in those areas. It's a couple of different kinds of grass on the lake. We were fishing grass and uh, we would really uh, in practice focused a lot on the, on the hydrilla, not getting a lot of bites. I ran into some eelgrass that was scattered and it was scattered in shell beds. And the shell beds were four or five foot deep. They weren't deep shell beds, but uh, when I saw that scattered eelgrass, <coughs> started casting on them and it kind of tapered off a point there um, off the side of it. But uh, in practice, I caught them um, five, six foot deep. But today, for whatever reason, they've moved on up a little more. The reason I think is because they're they're wanting to go shallow, getting ready for the spawn. The water temperature is 53 to 54 degrees right now. So those fish had moved up just since yesterday when I found those. But uh, very first thing this morning, uh, caught a six pounder was our first fish. and very into my cast. I cast way past where I was planning on catching them at and as soon as my bait hit the water I caught a six pounder. So wow. from then on <coughs> we started realizing our bites were They're getting closer so we, we kept on moving up with the fish. Gotcha. And uh, you know the baits we were using just booyah one knockers. Um, we were using a half ounce size. Um, we've split it up a couple different colors. I don't think color really mattered. It was really the the weight, the half ounce, I don't think it would have mattered what color came by on that half ounce was uh, ticking the top of that grass right whenever we came across it and uh, that's what we caught all of our fish on was the one knocker. Y'all braid trapping or fluorocarbon trapping? I used a Seaguar, Yellow Box, the Invis yep. 17 pound. Um, water's got a little color to it, you could get away with heavier line but cast ability and cast the 17 further so just went with the 17 Invis X is yep. what we use today, Seaguar. Dustin, you said you caught the big one today, so let's talk about that one. What, same same setup? Yeah, same location. Um, we started off, and he, like I said, he caught the big one early, and then we caught a couple and had a decent bag, and that one came 9 o'clock or so, and then at that point we had two big ones that kind of bumped us up to the next level of bag and kept us fishing hard. So Yeah, there you go. Uh, sounds like a traditional pre-spawn. Moving up, shell bar, eel grass, some more grass mixed in, end of a point, and they're moving up. Like that's pretty traditional. Y'all found kind of the, the breed of what it takes yeah. to win this time of year. Yeah. Whether it, that's, it sounds like a Gunnersville thing too, but yeah. it works on Pickwick a lot of times. So yeah. uh, there you go. So Booyah One Knocker, uh, Seaguar Yellow, Invis X. Invis X. Yeah. And I know for a fact they've got those at Academy. That's right. uh, this entire wrap up, the Winner's Tackle Box presented by Academy Sports. We appreciate you guys. Congratulations on another APT win and uh, we'll see you all at the next one. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.